Hi everyone, this is Rob and Alberto. We are here to present a very important milestone for the project, one that has been in works for a while and is so consistent with where we want to go uh, as a project. Actually, one that conforms so strongly to our core value of decentralization where we're actually taking decentralization to the architectural level. So Alberto, would you like to describe some of the details? Oh yes, yeah, sure. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Why we are doing it? Because we would like to give to developers the possibility to uh, develop blockchain applications mm -hmm. in a totally decentralized fashion. So uh, we want to give them the possibility to use our node network to uh, deploy their blockchain application that are going to introduce their specific data and rules. So. Uh, we will provide to them an SDK that will allow them to code their specific logic, introduce their specific data structure, mm -hmm. their specific transactions, and all this stuff totally, let me say, independent from the main chain. Mm -hmm. And this is our uh, first goal that we want to achieve. And independent of main chain means independent of one group of core developers deciding the entire technology path. So one could say that this is even a decentralization or abstraction of the idea of a smart contract. Rather than building on top of a core layer, and you you're basically have a core layer that others have designed for you, here you have your own blockchain. Yeah, absolutely. So this gives uh, even more possibilities because you can use whatever, let me say, logic you want in your uh, specific vertical blockchain application. And uh, our SDK, but let me say more, the protocol uh, will allow you to interact with the main chain in a totally decentralized way. Mm -hmm. So you do not, don't have to rely on some, um, let me say, trusted party mm -hmm. uh, for validating uh, the transfers that are happening between the main chain and the side chain. And we, when we say transfers, we mean transfers of coins, mm -hmm. because in the end, yeah, uh, in the side chain, uh, it's you need to have some coins to transfer some values. For example, uh, let's say uh, we want to implement a car registry side chain, mm -hmm. and we want that, uh, uh, for example, s uh, if you want to sell your car, you want to transfer some value, and uh, for this reason, is needed to uh, have this possibility to have to use coins in the side chain. Right. So this project has started off as a, a privacy cryptocurrency, essentially, and now Zen is transforming into uh, basically being an engine that has a much larger and broader application environment that we can build here. Really unbounded, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and even, uh, as you mentioned, we can uh, introduce even privacy inside the sidechain itself. So, right. Because uh, the protocol and the architecture doesn't prevent to introduce privacy in, uh, uh, for application data in the sidechain. Mm -hmm. Right, and what I love about it is, you know, with, with this type of architectural model, everything's modular, <laughs> right, which means it's massively scalable, because now, rather than trying to do all of your application functions through a single, single blockchain, we're talking about blockchains for functional areas. For instance, I envision, say, a tokenization sidechain. Yeah. Rather than doing tokenization with a scripting language within the main chain, whether it's turn complete or not, we can actually have a very simple core and then do all of the application specific stuff on their own functional side chains. Absolutely, and that's the goal. This release is very important because in this milestone, we are going to public many important components that our development team has been working on in the last months. So it's a very important uh, step forward and this will be public. So anyone will have the possibility to, to see what we did and to even, if they want, even contribute to the project because uh, it will be available to everyone. Right, and so far we've been talking about where we're going with the science technology, but this milestone is the first time that we're actually making public a large chunk of the code base and really the target audience for this, I would mm -hmm. say, are core blockchain developers who want to look at what we're doing, you know, validate what we're doing, and more importantly, I would say, is contribute to what we're doing. Absolutely.
Okay, first, uh, a sidechain developer will be able to run a sidechain node. Mm -hmm. And so we have, uh, in the end, developed a uh, demo, or let me say, applications uh, that uh, will be able to interact with the main chain, monitor main chain blocks, mm -hmm. and the sidechain forger uh, will be able to detect new main chain blocks mm -hmm. and include main chain block reference, or what we call main chain block reference. This means sidechain specific output contained in a main chain block. Uh, because we do not want to transfer uh, all the main chain information in sidechain. We will just include in a sidechain block only the sidechain related information that are contained in the main chain block. What we are talking about. Mm -hmm. For example, a forward transfer. And what is a forward transfer? It's a, um, a specific output of a transaction executed in main chain mm -hmm. that uh, burned some coins in main chain and sent that coin to that specific sidechain. So what the sidechain forger will do? Will, uh, before uh, publishing the sidechain block, will monitor main chain, will see if there is another main chain block, and uh, let me say extract the information that are related to that sidechain. So for example, the specific forward transfer, and then will pack them, let me say, in the sidechain block, and then bro broadcast the sidechain block. That's great. So what does the main chain have to know about the sidechains? Nothing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is totally, let me say, right. the couple. This part right. is totally the couple. Yeah, so this is an extremely important point that I think we need to really harp on because architecturally, if this weren't uh, the case, Every time we want to build a different application, we need to modify the core main chain itself. And that's not scalable. Oh, absolutely. Right. This doesn't scale at all. No, no, exactly. And you rely on the core development team that maintains that main chain. Yeah, absolutely. So we are decoupling the two things. And so sidechain developer will have to focus on that specific logic of that specific sidechain. And that's it. Uh, no need to modification uh, in main chain and this scales. Yeah, this is very important and uh, an absolute technology breakthrough for the project. I think for the industry, really the way I look at this is we're now creating a blockchain of blockchains. Also, we have developed in this first milestone uh, the wallet part that will be responsible for uh, monitoring, uh, s uh, let me say, specific transaction and transaction that are uh, sending coins to a specific address that belongs to uh, a node. So what we are talking about, if a specific sidechain node has configured uh, some addresses and it receives a sidechain block, mm -hmm. it will be able to parse the sidechain block mm -hmm. and also get the transaction that are included in it and keep the balance that is related to their coins. And so this is another part that for the sidechain developer is totally transparent, right. but the SDK itself will provide to him this, this data without any, any effort uh, from his side. So the sidechain developer doesn't have to worry about blockchain consensus or security? Absolutely. Uh, this yeah. will be, uh, let me say, uh, out of the box yeah. <laughs> in the sidechain SDK. He will just have to include his specific logic and, and data. Right, that's fantastic. So there's really two audiences. One would be core blockchain developers who want to look at the technology and see if mm -hmm. they can extend it. And the other would be application developers. Although I would say with this deliverable, we're not quite ready with consensus built into the SDK mm -hmm. for application developers. But really, this is meant for a major technology demonstration that core blockchain developers can now take, contribute to, extend, or uh, whatnot, because it's all open source. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, and this is very important because we'll give this opportunity to look at the code, uh, look at how it is structured. So how can we uh, introduce this specific logic and data? And after we will have another video uh, taken from one of our developers that will explain in details how we can uh, introduce this custom logic and custom data. And I think that this will be very important, no? Oh, that's excellent. So really for us as a project, this is a huge step forward, but it is one step on a much broad, you know, longer path for us. 
but one that opens up so many doors. Absolutely. And the next step will be uh, improving consensus yep. and uh, going on with the uh, backwards transfers. Oh, and we have to remember that we already made the modifications also in the, in the main chain for uh, allowing right. this uh, sidechain yeah. creation. Yep. So, uh, because as we were saying, main chain does no specific sidechain. So this means that the developer will be able to bootstrap mm -hmm. his sidechain. Bootstrap means declaring it. So we, we are going to introduce uh, a specific transaction that will be able to bootstrap a new sidechain. So yep. the main chain will be aware of it. Yep. Okay? And the other kind of output will be the forward transfer. I mean, the, um, that will be able to send coins to right. that specific sidechain. And these modifications are already implemented. So the sidechain will be able to uh, use this new kind of transaction, new kind of outputs. And, uh, uh, and so we are able to really verify that the, the interaction is working properly. Well, that's fantastic. I can't wait to see this in practice and some of the subsequent videos that we're going to have. Thank you guys for joining us. And this is a very exciting time for the project. A major step forward on a much broader path, but one that opens so many possibilities for us. And architecturally, I think makes us a very interesting and innovative project. So if you're interested in seeing what we've done so far, get into the back end, look at the code base, download our SDK, tinker with it, try to even better, try to extend on it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.